Crude oil prices eased on Wednesday after the White House said it still had tools at its disposal to quell rising oil prices. But the relief proved to be small and short-lived. Working against President Biden are far stronger factors when it comes to moving the price of crude oil. The Biden administration has promised to work with producer and consumer countries and took a bow on the notion that the methods the White House has used so far to calm oil prices had been successful. Ultimately, the White House said that tools remain on the table for the government to address high oil prices. For starters, the Biden administration will continue to monitor prices and engage OPEC Plus partners as appropriate. Shortly after the administration made its proclamation, oil prices began to dip. Also contributing to falling prices, though, was the API report that showed a sizable gasoline inventory build. But President Biden is proving to be no match for another powerful catalyst, stronger than expected oil demand, which has pushed prices 30% higher over the last couple of months. Analysts believe when it comes to rising oil prices, there is even more room to run, especially as OPEC Plus ramps up production, effectively running its members short on spare capacity. Oil prices continued their decline on Thursday, but the dip was disappointingly small, with WTI slipping to just over $86 per barrel, essentially even with Tuesday's prices.